Pickleball is one of the fastest growing sports in the U.S. And right now, collegiate pickleball players are competing in a championship event at Grand Park in Westfield. WRTV's Jessica Grundling checked it out today and found a local team trying to make their mark on the sport. Warming up on the court together, yeah. Carter Wittendorf and Mevish Safdar took different paths to playing pickleball. I've been playing since early high school. Safdar, former collegiate tennis player. Wow, uh, good point. I think it was during COVID that I first picked up a paddle just because there was really not a whole lot else to do. But that's the beauty in the sport. This is not your grandfather's sport anymore. Safdar and Wittendorf are competing as part of IU's club pickleball team at the inaugural APP US Collegiate Championships. The APP Tour is the official Pro Tour partner of USA Pickleball. It kicks off our Collegiate Series Tour for 2024. Um, we have 26 universities that are here right now battling it out to see who will be our national champions. Ken Herman is the founder and tournament director and says pickleball at the collegiate level is gaining momentum. NCAA does not recognize pickleball yet as an official scholarship sport, but all of the colleges have started local pickleball clubs, which is what we're hoping to do to keep enhancing that experience to show the NCAAs maybe they should consider pickleball as, a, as an official sport. And one of those schools just starting a club team is IU currently in the process of becoming an official club sport at the university. The day that happens, we will be the largest club sport in IU. Head coach Timber Tucker helped start it. The club team went uh, from zero last year. We have over 600 people on the IU Pickleball Club now. Tucker credits the sport for helping people be social and improving mental health. And for those that are more competitive, there's opportunities like this. Both Wittendorf and Safdar are looking forward to not only growing pickleball at their school, but going up against some of the best. Maybe not the results uh, we've been looking for, but, you know, as I said, even losing, it's, it's tons of fun seeing what's out there. Lots of really great players, really great competition. So honestly, it's, it's just like really impressive and amazing. And I'm excited to see how this sport continues to grow. In Westfield, Jessica Grunling, WRTV. Well, players here are also competing for scholarship money. What do you say, Kevin? Let's get a team together. Uh, I've played pickleball. It is, uh, it's challenging. It is know? challenging. Yeah, but what's fun is to see the youth coming to the sport and making it even more athletic. Okay, now to my job. Let's talk about the weather. 